What's up y'all, Walla Moose here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some passive income selling digital products online. And in my opinion, selling digital products is the way to go when selling online because you only have to create it once, you can sell it over and over, you don't have to keep physical inventory, and you don't have to worry about shipping. So it's kind of a win-win-win situation. And I've broken this video into three parts. One is gonna be the platform I use, Two is gonna be how to upload a digital product. And three is gonna consist of some tips for best practices on creating your listings and actually getting some sales. But before I begin, I post here on YouTube pretty frequently with videos regarding digital entrepreneurship and online business. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the ride. But without further ado, let's jump in here and get started. Alrighty, so let's get started. So I'm sure it's no surprise the platform I use is Etsy. And there's a few reasons for that. One, it's free to create an account, so anyone can create an account. Two, it is a bit different than other shop platforms, so like Shopify, um, WooCommerce, anything like that. Um, those, you have to actively find traffic and send it to your shop. However, Etsy is a search engine, kind of like Google or YouTube, so people go to Etsy, search things, and they find your shop. So. You don't have to worry about constantly attracting traffic to your store. You just have to worry about good keyword and good SEO so that people find your stuff. And third, they do have digital product capabilities. So after someone buys something, like here's my store, for example, it's called Waypoint Printables and I sell printable calendars. And whenever someone buys, they just get a confirmation email with the download link. I don't have to worry about it. Etsy does all that for me. So I feel like if you're just getting started, Etsy is the platform to go with just because of ease of use and the traffic is already there. Now, let's talk about how to upload a product. So whenever you create your shop, or if you already have one, all you need to do is go up here to the top right hand corner to this little shop manager button, click on it, and it will take you to your shop dashboard. So creating digital listings is just like any other listing. We're gonna go over here on the left hand side to listings and it can pull up all of your current shop listings, or if you don't have any, it'll be blank. Um, but once we're here, we're gonna go up here to add a listing. All right, so everything's pretty much the same as a physical product. You're gonna upload your photos, your title, all that stuff. But where it's different is a few scrolls down, it should say type, and you can choose between phys physical and digital. It's important that you choose digital because that will then give you the prompt at the bottom of the page to upload your files. And I'm gonna talk about title and description later with some tips on how to get your shop in front of viewers. But for now, let's just work on uploading it. Oh, and one more thing. So what you wanna do also is about this listing, make sure you made it a finished product and choose a date range of when you made this product. If you choose made to order, people will get um, the ability to custom order stuff and then you'll have to produce it once they order. But if you do a date range, you can just upload the file and repeat selling the same product. So after you do all that, at the bottom, you should have a new section called digital files. And now you can upload your file and whatever you upload here is what the buyer will download. And that's pretty much it. So after you fill out all the other information, it, that's about as easy as it get for, gets for uploading digital products. And so once you do that, finish all the information, just hit publish and you are good to go. You have a listing on Etsy. Now let's talk about actually selling your products and some tips for getting it shown. So let me go back to the home. Okay, so like I said, Etsy is a search engine, meaning people come to Etsy and search things they're looking for, but how do you get your product shown above all the others? Because it's no secret, Etsy is very competitive, so you have to know exactly what you're doing. So think about your product and what you're selling. Think about the niche and what kind of people are buying it. So let's go to my shop for an example. My shop sells digital calendars and digital planners. So if we go to one of my listings, we'll see that in my title, I have a bunch of keywords that potentially people could search for. So this emergency binder printable, one of my best sellers, the keywords emergency binder printable, medical binder, emergency planner, all keywords that people search for. And having these keywords within Etsy tells Etsy exactly what this product is. It's telling Etsy, hey, this is a emergency binder printable, so show it to people who search that. Now you may be wondering how to choose specific keywords and know which are most successful for searches. 
Um, I'm going to link some videos in the description below because it is a vast topic. I have multiple videos on keyword and SEO um, analytics on Etsy, um, but I will say there is a great tool called Allura. It can be found at allura.io. I'll also link it in the description below if you want to sign up for it, um, as well as a video describing what it is. But it is a great, great SEO keyword analytic tool for Etsy shops to help you know which keywords to target. But again, it is a very large topic, so I have other videos specifically on that. But another point I want to talk about in this video is product images. So, so the first thing people see when they go to Etsy is your product image. And so obviously you want to make it very enticing, very interesting to people for people to click on. So um, emergency binder printable. Let me just go to that as an example, search in the search engine. Um, Oh, sweet. So I'm number five. So if you're looking at these, which stand out to you the most? Well, right off the bat, I'm going to say this Nancy Binder one and this emergent mine. So the reason for that is because it is solid blue color. It's not just a bunch of pages like these just scattered all over. This one is just white and bland. So you really want to make sure your product images stand out from the rest. So do a quick little search of whatever niche you are looking for. Uh, see what others, other um, shops in your niche are doing. See what your competitors are doing and see how you can do it better. So I hope this video helped. Um, it was just kind of a simple video showing you how to upload digital products, but I hope using this platform, uploading products and using some of the tips for keywords and images really help you get started. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll link to some of my other videos in the description. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.